<laughs> That's why we're looting in the wasteland, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die on Alpha 21. This is the Apocalypse Ranger series, and I am an old guy gaming. All right, so we spent the night on this roof here. Had one zombie that climbed up here and attacked me. I took it out and then uh, put some blocks down there, which I have just picked up. And um, so I think what we'll do, it's you know, Jen's not going to open up until 6, so why don't we just do a little bit of looting here in this desert town until she opens up. Uh, the plan for this episode is to basically work our way back home, but along the way, uh, do some looting. In particular, I want to do some looting in the wasteland because we're going to have a higher loot stage. So I'm going to put a couple of things in here. We're going to have to really be um, judicious with with the loot. I'm, and I'm, I'm going to have to, you know, not loot certain things that I normally would loot. Like, for example, well, you know what? I'm going to keep the seed, but... That'll be some of the first things that we'll throw out if we get to the point where we just don't have room. Uh, definitely not going to throw out ammo. We're going to keep all the ammo. This will sell to Jen when she opens up. We definitely want to keep uh, the silencer mod. Uh, unless we come across, like, you know, really high-end loot, I'm going to continue to wear the agility glasses just because they give us more... Uh, they give us that extra point in agility. This is not necessary because we can easily make that the forge so i'll end up selling that to jen i'll sell these to jen because we're not doing heavy armor in this playthrough and i think what we'll do is we'll put those in there and if if and when we come across uh, more cloth we can we'll just turn those into duct tape and not carry the glue around i think oh shoot i just sorted my inventory again uh we'll get, grab some more feathers to turn those into more arrows for us and I think everything else we want to hang on to for for now. All right, very good. So um, we have a an abrasion that's just about healed up. So we're in pretty good shape as far as our health and all that goes. And oh, let me turn my light back on too. I turned it off just to be as quiet as possible during the night. Um, I suppose we could just do this house here while we're waiting. So let's do that. Let's go. Where's the mailbox for this house? Uh, we've done this house before. We'll check the trash here. Uh, I'm not going to loot spoiled meat while we're on the road. We're not going to loot pipes. Uh, again, we're just going to be very judicious about what we take with us because our space is so limited. Um, I th this here, we'll sell that to Jin. And we'll probably actually end up selling the animal fat to Jin, too. Got a spider somewhere. There he is. Get out of here. We're we supposed to go this way? Yeah, I think we are. Okay, we're going to have a Zom in here or two. And maybe in that closet. Oh, ooh, look at all the loot there. My goodness, that's all good stuff. Um, this will scrap. Let's put the this down here for emergencies. These will turn into duct tape. This, oh, we got two of those. We'll read both of those. This, oh, I shouldn't have scrapped that. <laughs> Darn it, we could have made a bandage. That's all right. We'll come across more cloth easily enough. Let's turn this into an iron arrow. Got a bookcase. Nice. We actually have the tempered blade. So I probably should have kept that to sell it, but that's all right. Nobody in here. There we go. I was just literally thinking to myself, man, it'd be nice if we found a duster and there was a duster. That's cool. Okay, so... Um, we are definitely going to keep our puffer coat, though, because at some point we'll be doing, uh, we'll be doing snow biome stuff, um, so we want to keep that, but this is a, a much better coat to have uh, for desert operations. Uh, because of its cooling effect. All right, cool. 
Um, so already it was worth it to come in here. Uh, thought there were some zombies in here. Maybe not. Or do they blow through the wall there? That's worth selling to Jen. Um, we'll have to use a repair kit to repair it, but we have a blue one on, right? Yeah. Okay. So this will be worth repairing even with a repair kit to sell. Yeah, two two seventy five. Uh, repair kits are actually pretty easy to make. Okay, let's go out here. I think the floor collapses or something in this room. There's a spider there. Let's take him out. Might be somebody in here. Nope, nobody's in there. Check in here for stuff to sell to Jenny. Give me my arrow back, dude. Uh, okay. Big mama. Get a headshot. Nope, she's awake. Oh, she's feral too. Feral, what the hell? Why is she feral? Game stage, maybe? Trying to get her to fall down. Come on, Big Mama, go down, please. All right, you're pissing me off. So damn tough. Oh, look. We missed some medical supplies. All right. We need to really move through this house fast because it's already six, almost 6 a.m. So we're going to skip everything in here, and we're just going to go right to the main loot, which is up in the attic. And there's also going to be a bunch of Zeeks, but I think they... I think... Damn it! Why am I having such a hard time getting up here? Okay. Crouch. Up. There. Okay, I think there's some landmines that will go off as they run to us, but if not, we'll just... Either sneaky sneak them or take them out with this. Everything else loaded too? Yeah. No landmines? Shit. Those are some tough seeks, man. We better take the big boy, because we got the shit beat out of us. We'll turn that off. Okay, take all of that and sell most of it. That loots. Um, the last shot in the chamber does double damage. Nice. Okay, we'll take that. And we'll grab the water out of here. Might as well look in here since it's here. Um, don't think I'm going to take... Well, do we have plastic? Nah, let's not take plastic. Salvage tools and... Ooh, we're definitely going to keep those because those seem to be pretty rare in Alpha 21. Look at that. All right. Um, You know what? I should have put these on, darn it. Always forget to do that. It's so hard to remember. There we go. On the first try. And we got... Oh, we have two points to spend. I don't think we can put this on a double barrel, can we? No. Okay. I'm glad we found that, though. That's going to be really nice to have. All right. We got two points. Let's do those real quick. Um, we need... Oh, yeah. We need to put the agility glasses back on. Okay, so we have everything up to three. Those are up to four. So I think we'll do Hidden Strike. And let's do From the Shadows. For those two. Uh, wait, two points or three points? Yeah, two points. Okay. All right, let's go sell what we can to Jenny. And then we're going to hit the road. Oh, this is good. 10% more damage to humans and zombies. That is really good. We'll take it. Her, the name's Jenny. 
but you can call me Dr. Jen. Uh, her stock reset today as well. So, okay, so let's sell this. Uh, I don't think I have a mod to put on it. So, yeah, we're just going to sell it straight up. That. She doesn't want that. We're going to chuck it. Uh, we don't care about sledgehammer parts. We are definitely keeping military armor parts, however. We were going to sell this and those. Gunpowder. Uh, the oil. The pipe rifle. Or shotgun, sorry. And... Uh, I think we were going to sell the animal fat too. Okay, so that brings us up to 813 coin. Let's just see what she has in her inventory. Seems like the trader inventories are... They kind of have the same stuff. There's a little bit of variation in it, but not, not a ton. There's a blue tactical assault rifle. That's a beautiful thing. Machete too, but man, that's just a lot of money. Can't afford it now. Um, and the 44 Magnum would be kind of cool. All that stuff will come later. Okay. Now that was a good deal. Trust me, I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. <laughs> okay. Steve, get out of here. Don't lose your head over it. Or lose your head over it. I don't care. All right, let's do this. We're going to grab... Nope, we're not taking that. Normally I would, but... Did I not just take your head off? How in the hell did that happen? Different Steve. <laughs> okay, here's the deal. Um, I don't think I'm going to loot in the desert. Uh, I think I'm going to wait till we get to the wasteland again, just because we'll have that higher game stage. So um, I'm just going to head down the road, and when we get to the wasteland, then we'll stop and start uh, looting on our way home. So I'll see you guys over there. I'm even going to go cross country here a little bit. Okay, so we are now in the wasteland, and I'm going to I'm gonna put the luckies on for the looting. And we'll start hitting cars, duffel bags, I don't want to get too far off the road, though. Got a big old snake coming this way. All right, I don't want either one of those things. Well, maybe we'll hang on to the pipes for now. I think, yeah, this is back in the desert, but what the heck? Let's just look and see what's inside of it. You never know. Duffel bag, too. Okay, we'll sell that to Bob when we pass by his way. That's some pretty good stuff. Okay, so let's make some more of these. Um, we'll scrap all iron stuff and just sell it to Bob when we get over to him. We'll definitely take that stuff. All right, I don't know, is there anything on those POIs? I don't think we should get too terribly off the beaten track here because I wanna be out the other side of the wasteland by the end of this episode, so. Uh, we'll take that momentarily, if we can sell it to Bob. Got a dog here. Move my arrows back. Nope, we'll keep that in there for possible future looting. Uh, don't give a shit about those, of course. Let's run over here to this car, watching for landmines along the way. I don't think we've read the You Can Step on Landmines book yet. Oh, maybe we have. I don't know. Again, I get confused with this series and the first ranger series that we started um 
We'll take that. We'll take those, but those will be some of the first things to go if we need to make space. There's a bear. Let's stay away from him. Uh, this place, yeah, this place spawns a nasty bunch of zombies. We're, we're not even going to mess with it at all right now. We'll check this vehicle here, though, at the KZL radio station. Okay, we'll take that. Scrap that. I should just uh, scrap that right out of the container to save a little bit of time, but that's all right. Stay away from Mr. Barr there. Nope. Don't want any of that stuff. It's really dark here, man. <clears throat> All smoky and hazy. That is a lootable vehicle. Let's turn these into duct tape. Um, I don't think I'm going to loot those because they're easy to come by with um, uh, salvaging. Okay, so this will turn into one of these. And that brings us up to a full stack. But uh, we may expend some more of those as we continue on. So we'll see how that goes. Look at that big old mountain road there. Crazy. Uh, definitely want those. I'll take this for now. But uh, like as with the other seed, it'll be one of the first things to go. We need to get rid of stuff. Those, that will just eat straight up. Oh, speaking of which, yeah, they're actually doing pretty good on food and hydration. All right, let's go ahead and try and loot some of these vehicles. I know, I know, there's going to probably be some sleepers in and amongst them, but let's see what we can do. police car knife guy I'll leave that in there take that to sell is that guy gonna aggro on us I don't know All right, so is, do we see any sleepies in here? Oh, shit, get out of here. I have lockpicks, right? I do. Okay, let's see if we can open this car. I hear somebody breaking something on, over somewhere. Ooh, it's a bear. Okay, we got to keep our eyes peeled for him. Come on, game. You know, lockpicking seems to like it either works really well or it doesn't work worth the shit. There's a lot, not really much of a middle ground. Oh, 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 oh. That's why we're looting in the wasteland, ladies and gentlemen. What a nice find. All right, let's get rid of that. Uh, we want those and we're going to chuck the blueberry seed. Put those down there. And probably going to chuck the... Um, let's just drink this. 
What a beautiful find. This is amazing. All right. So this is now, this is going to go down to the toolbar. And let's load it up. Okay, we will, we'll put a scope on this um, as soon as we can. Should we see what's in here? Okay, I see one sleeper, but there's a savage country. I don't know who that is. It's, uh... Who the hell is that? Oh, it's Lumberjack. Okay. What the hell, man? Get off there. Don't want him jumping down on top of our head. Knife guy. Alright. Man, he really thumped us good. Should we take this to free up? I think we will. We'll take it to free up the slot. And, and because our health is like halfway down. Good gravy, that guy hit us hard. Um, we'll take that and that. Oh man, that bear is right there. Right there is that bear. Let's open this up for a second. Okay, we're ditching the seeds. Easy enough to come by. Um, we're ditching the, these because easy enough to make. And let's put that, 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 and that in there. Now, I want to see if I can get that bear to get the hell out of here. So we can finish looting these vehicles. Alright, where is it? It's over there. Okay, let's see if we can get him to go off into the boonies a little bit. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Get out of here, bear. Nope. Go. Ominous. Oh, we're, look at all the song. I don't know if you guys can see that very well on the screen. But just by throwing that rock, there's like four zombies over there chasing the rock. Okay, can we loot this? Yes, we can. This could have something good in it. And we woke up sleepy somewhere. I don't, I don't want to use my guns if I can help it just to keep the noise down. All right, let's check this. Uh, we got a bow part, I think, out of that, right? I was busy defending myself. That we're just going to eat right now. Let's check this car. Take the grass to sell. Chuck that stuff. I don't know where that bear went. Let's try this car here. Okay, so um, let's throw another stone here. <coughs> I don't see any more lootable vehicles in here, so I, I think we should just get going. Press our luck as far as I want to press it. Or not. Let's, let's 
grab this semi. We chucked the lead, didn't we? Okay. If this army vehicle is lootable, it'll be worth doing. Come on, bear. There he goes. Oh, no, it's not lootable because it's too broken down. All right, let's go. Nice. Uh, we have that already. We're not taking gunpowder. I do want to get some more stones, though, for more bears. Okay, let's go. So even if we don't find anything else good, just finding that purple hunting rifle was amazing. Or no, it's not even a hunting rifle, it's a lever action rifle, which is even better than a hunting rifle. Well, I mean, I think the hunting rifle still does more damage per shot, all other things being equal, but the lever action has a much faster fire rate. And also can be... Ooh, that's nice. Um... We're gonna. We're probably gonna actually hang on to that. This would be good to wear in the forest because we don't really need heat or cold protection, and it'll give us that ten percent run speed. Okay, let's go. That van is lootable, right? Oh shit, dog! You know what? Let's dispatch him with this. I don't want him to damage me because then the vultures will come. Well, and it hurts too. Oh! Crap, I forgot about the airdrop. I can't even see it. Oh, there it is. I mean, I saw the plane. I have no idea where that drop is. I cannot see it for the life of me. It's somewhere over there. And we are not equipped to go trouncing around in the wasteland at this point. If I could at least spot it, I could mark its general vicinity, but I don't see it anywhere. All right, well... We just, uh, it is what it is. We can't do a damn thing about it. Zulu Tango Foxtrot, it's not going to be happy, but what can we do? <laughs> I don't usually play with airdrops anyways, so they're, I kind of, you know, I, I'm not like, because the ones that we've lost, it's like, you know, it's not that big of a deal to me. Plus, the stuff that's in them is, like, okay, but it's not, like, the best thing since sliced bread, you know, kind of thing. So, let's see what's in here. Oh, my goodness, you guys. Look at the loot. Oh, baby. Oh, that is a nice find, too. Okay. So, what's the next least most important thing in our inventory right now? Probably the coffee beans or... I mean, we could... Here, let's just eat the egg. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Significant upgrade from the even the purple because it's steel. All right. Let's go. Let's keep on keeping on. See what else we can find. Wasteland looting, baby. Yeah, 
we'll take all of that. We're, we're finding a lot of motor tool parts, which will come in handy later. Okay, let's eat that straight up. And we will... Turn that into another arrow. Okay, cool. Possible landmine? I don't think so, because it doesn't have red uh, LED light thingies on top of it. But I'm not going to step on it to test that theory. More steel tool parts. That is good. We'll just scrap this for the brass. And I'm not selling brass anymore because um, we need to start making our own ammo. Take that. I mean, we found enough gunpowder that we should kind of maybe start hanging on to that too. But the thing about gunpowder is it's it's easy to make. So it just doesn't make sense to take up a valuable inventory slot when you're out in the field like we are, you know. That's that's my opinion on it anyways. Um, what is this? Lamb cuts? I don't want to eat any of that food because it's used for recipes. That's worth 38. That's worth 96. Just swap those two things. But we're here at Bob's now, too, so we'll be able to sell off a few things and clear up some space. Man, steel tool parts are, like, abundant in the wasteland. That's a good thing, because I was having a really hard time finding those in my experimental playthrough. But I, I wasn't in the wasteland, though, either. Okay, we'll take that. We will... Are you just a normal? Uh, yep, you are. We want to find a little bit of cloth so we can just turn that into a another... Uh, or into a bandage. Okay, let's do this. Let's put these in here, and we'll take those in to sell to Bob. Uh, yeah. Okay. The apocalypse isn't so bad. You think? I don't know if I agree with that. Okay. Let's sell that. This we need to fix up first. Um, what else? Is that all? Actually, I don't think I want to sell anything else to him. Well, that didn't Peace be with you, bring us friend. up a whole lot of space, did it? Uh, no. Hold on. I want to repair this, not wear this. Oh, we were going to sell him the headlights too, right? Okay. Because those are easy to come by with looting. These are easy to come by. Uh, I'm sorry, with salvaging is what I meant to say. With salvaging, so we'll sell those. You know what? We can make these in the forge. I don't know why. Oh, he doesn't even want them. Does he want two arrows? Nope. It's been a real, All right. real well, pleasure. I'm just going to check those. Out there. Sometimes, you know, you, you hang on to something thinking it's worthwhile. And then under the circumstances, it's like, you know, it really isn't actually worthwhile. Okay, what do you got? He's got a purple nail gun, a really nice steel shovel. I'd like this serrated blade mod for our Kniffy. 10% chance to cause a bleeding wound on a regular attack. So I guess that, I'm assuming that would just stack with what we already have in the Kniff. Harvesting lead and brass from sink. See? That's not the best thing in the world.
He's got a mini bike, you guys. Ooh, wow. See, the thing about that is if we got that, we wouldn't have to spec into it. Let's keep that in mind. We'll keep that in mind. Got a nice, well, decent steel sledgehammer anyways. Okay, so I'm going to buy this. Thanks for shopping here. And Come again. We're going to swap these two out because you can't have both of those on at the same time. This we can put on. Can we put it on here? No. We, we, we could probably put it on here because this is considered a bladed weapon. Yeah. Okay. And I, I'm just going to keep in mind that he has a mini bike for sale for 18,000 coin. But we would have to raise that by the end of day 18. Be seeing you. So basically we would have three days to get that. It's possible if we really worked hard on the... Um, on the quests between now and then, and we are in tier three with Trader Wrecked. So it's possible that we could raise that. And I would like to do that just because then I don't have to put a bunch of points, at least not right now, into Grease Monkey and Intellect so we can keep pumping um, agility. So that I'm going to set that as a tertiary goal for us. We might achieve it, we might not. We'll see what happens. Let's snack this real quick. I don't know what kind of monsters are going to be in around in here. Take that and that. And we're not doing arrows anymore. For the rest of this trip. Oh, there's a bear. Let's go. Bear, 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 bear. Is that weapons bag still up on the top of here? Should we try and cheese it? Ooh, look at that. Knife guy. Okay, so now we can make a quality two hunting knife. We're going to do a cheesy McSqueezy on the weapons bag on top of this building. Assuming it's still there. Yes, it is. All right. Got a shotgun quality five, and that we can put in a club and sell later. Wasn't really worth the effort, but it was okay, I suppose. None of these vehicles are lootable. I think there's a duffel bag or something in the back of here, but there's also a bunch of creepy crawlies. I don't even see a duffel bag back there or a creepy crawlies. Maybe I'm thinking of a different. Yeah, I, I think it's a, the one I'm thinking of has a, an actual vehicle attached to it. I'd loot that car if the bear wasn't there, but the bear's there. Which means we're gonna vomit us. Oh, am I going? The, I'm going the wrong way. We did loot that car. Never mind. Okay, Jerry's fill station. Check this vehicle here. Nope, not taking any of that stuff. There's a mailbox up here we can check for magazines. A police station. We already know that, uh, but we'll grab it to sell to wreck when we get back home. Um, chicken ration we'll eat right now and we'll take the water. Oh, it scared the hell out of me. It's just the shopping cart noise. Oh, another police car, guys. Check this out. 
All right. Come here, yo. Have some bleeds. All right. How many lockpicks do we have? We have four. Okay, let's try it. Oh, shit, there's a dog. Let's deal with the dog first. And deal with Marlene, too. There's more zombies over that way. Okay, let's give this a try. If we don't get into it, I might try and break it and do the run away and come back thing. Nice. Okay, let's see what we get. We're gonna drink that. One grenade, huh? Okay, well. That wasn't all that phantasmagorical, to be honest with you, but it is what it is. Let's go check this pickup over here. Um we'll take this, this, and this. That stuff can stay. Couple mailboxes. Explosives crafting. All right, so we can make grenades now. Spring with a 44 gun drawn uses 20% less stamina. Okay, we'll take that too. Okay, I would like uh, those machine gun parts. Is there anything in here we can stack up? Yeah. Nice. Sniper headshots have a chance to stun and a greater chance to dismember. Lovely. Outline damage. Okay. Oh, come on, bear. Get out of here. Get out the F out of here. Okay, let's give this a try. I think we only have three lockpicks left. First try. Overall, pretty good stuff. There's our double pocket mods. Fantastic. Once we get those made, we will have completely opened up all our inventory slots. That was a nice find. Sneaking over trash makes no sound. I was hoping we'd find that soon. We no longer have to break up all the trash piles when we're doing POIs now. High power 44 mag. And there's a... Oh, shite. <laughs> that was close. Oh, man. I just thought to myself, look down as I was walking towards there. Ah, oh, shit. Where's the damn buzzards? How come they're not attacking me? I don't know. Here, but here, let's take this. We we threw our splints out. Um, we can handle the fatigue, okay? But we can't do anything about that. Well, actually, you know what we are going to do? We're going to take this. I know it's going to make us thirsty, but we have plenty to drink. And then at least we don't have to worry about the issue with it. And we're going to need to take a honey. So, yeah, that beat the crap out of us. Oh, well. Let's throw back a couple of these. I'm very surprised that the vultures aren't attacking us, but I'm not complaining. Okay, let's check this 
working stiff really quick. All right, guys, um, I have uh, some minor bad news. Um, I had to take a phone call, so I stopped the recording, uh, took the phone call, and then when I was finished with the phone call, I forgot to start the damn recorder again. So I think I, we went for another five to ten minutes because we were just about out of the wasteland. And in that process, and I, you guys are just going to have to trust me on this, um, I found a, a tactical, another tactical assault rifle, which is not quite as good as the one we have. And because I'm looking at the very last frame before I stop the recording, we found this steel shovel. Uh, in just in some of the cars that are around, uh, are around the um, this checkpoint here. I popped open the, the cop car that's there, but it did spawn in a horde of really nasty Zeeks. So we ran away, and the next time we come through here, we will be able to open that up. And I think, I think that's all, you know, other than some more basic stuff, I think that those were the two most significant things. So... Um, yeah, sorry about that, but sometimes that happens. Um, I, I was focused on, you know, answering that call. And then when I came back, I just plain forgot to hit the record button, but, um, you can tell, you know, that these are partially damaged. So, I mean, theoretically I could have spawned them in and then damaged them, but I don't do that shit anyway. So like I said, hopefully you guys don't, uh, you know, trust me on that because it was legit. Um, but the good news is we now have a steel shovel, which is cool. And this we could do one of two things with this second rifle. We could either keep it and put it on the toolbar so and use it as a backup, um, or we fix it up and sell it, um, you know, and make some money off of it. So nevertheless, it was a nice find for sure. Uh, okay, so yeah, as you can see, we are out of the wasteland now. And so the plan for upcoming episodes is we need to go and fix up Firepost 61, which we will will do. We'll, we'll go loot it and then fix it up in an upcoming episode. And then I'm going to go home tonight. We're going to set up the cement mixer and start making concrete. We're going to make the double pocket mods that we found earlier, and, and that'll free up the rest of our inventory slots. Um, the reason it's free now is because... Uh, well, actually, why is it free? We have the unencumbered at night, but it's not nighttime yet. So I don't know why. I don't know what's up with that. Oh, no, I know why, because we took a stair right. Okay. Um, but we have three more slots to unlock here, which the double pocket mods will do. And um, the other thing is that I'm going to go ahead and actually start working the tier three jobs from wrecked. And let's just see if we can possibly raise 18,000 coin um, in the next three days. So basically, well, we'll have day six, to, uh, 17 and 18. So we, we really only have two days. Um, and if we can, we're going to come back out here to Bob and buy that mini bike from him. So that way I don't have to put points into, um, you know, put points into in, uh, intellect and grease monkey. And we can continue focusing on getting agility maxed out. Now, we'll probably put points into that stuff later on, but I'd rather stay focused on agility for now. Okay, so I think that gets caught back up. And with that, I'm going to let you guys go here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.